Good morning, everybody. My name is Johnny. I'd like to tell you all a little bit about my kayak and how I have it rigged so that it personally fits my needs when I'm out there fishing. I think nothing's more important than having your kayak rigged to fit your needs for the way that you fish. And to start with, I like to have a cooler to put my fish in. Some people use an ice bag, but I like to use a cooler because I have a place to put my rods and things like that. I also have a basket that I built that I put in here that I can use storage or I'm going to put my battery in it also when I do take a trolling motor. Uh, I have storage under here also and I have a tackle box here that slides back and forth so I can get stuff out of it or out of my way and I can and I keep it locked so it's watertight. I keep my phone and everything that's important in here. Next of course is my handy net. I have it handy and I have my fish measuring board handy too. I got a place for my rod and reel. I have a place for my paddle and I also have, I use two anchors. The main thing, one of the main things when you're fishing out of a kayak is to be able to keep it stable when you're fishing, you might have the wind going one way and the current the other. And that's why I use two anchors and I use two anchor trolleys. And with your anchor trolleys, you can adjust your, the anchor from the front to the back by just moving this rope. But normally I use this for the front and the other one for the back. Now I also have a rudder that I put on and I can let the rudder down by just unhooking it here and putting it back up. And uh, a rudder is so important. Most kayaks you get today don't really track that well. And uh, you want it to track straight so when you get through paddling, your kayak does start doing donuts on you. So if you start to work in a plug, that uh, you're going straight as you can. Uh, this kayak is 11 foot long and it's, it's also only weighs 55 pounds. Now it's also easy to get into. As you notice, I like to get into it like this and I can get in it just like this, comfortably. And I've got my rod handy and I can reach back here. When I do catch a fish, I got everything in my tackle box. I get my grabber out. I can net my fish. When I net my fish, he leave him out with his grabber and I can spin around like this to put him in the cooler. I lift the cooler and I put him in there and I close it. Also, if I need another rod, I can get it right there. And I come back, I put this in my tackle box. Now, also, well, of course, when you're fishing, you got your paddle handy. You usually always have it here because when you're fighting a fish, a lot of times that fish could get behind you and that's the last thing you want him to do is let the fish get behind you. So that's when you either have to use your paddle or sometimes if he goes to the left, you can stick a rod out and he'll pull you around. And that's what you need. Now, the other day I caught this big red and I was out in the open and he started headed to the trouble and I dropped this right an this anchor out on the back. And when I dropped it out, I just, and he just kept going round and round. That's all I kept doing, going round and round and I wore, until I wore him out and then I netted him and then I got him. Uh, also, we we'll don't want to stand up and fish. I can put that like that and I can get up like this. Uh, you notice I'm on a hill. And I can stand, I'm on a hill, you notice why I had so much trouble. And then I get my paddle and I can paddle. And I can start, and I can also look for fish. Now let me tell you about my anchors. I've got two like this, one on each side. I really like this anchor. It's simply made from PVC. And I've got lead in it. They weigh about six, seven pounds a piece. And the reason why I like them is you can, they hold, they're heavy enough to hold you, but at the same time, they're easy to pull in and they're handy to, you can sit it like that and you've got such easy places to sit it and have it sitting up here like this rolling all over the place. And they, they work on both sides the same way. And also when you're fishing in a creek and you can throw it up on the grass and that'll hold you in place. And then when you bring it back, it comes back very easy. I really recommend these anchors right here. Also made these, these are very handy for trolling if you want to troll, if you want to troll for trout, or if you want to troll freshwater for speckled perch or something like that, it goes like this, and the other one goes over here like this. And you can turn this any direction you want, and that way you could have two poles out. And, uh, and also, they're, get on, they're on this track, so they slide back and forth where you can slide them out of your way. 
I also have a freshwater tackle box. When I go speckle perch fishing, crappie, or whatever, I, I can change it out because I don't need the big cooler to put crappie in. So this fits right in the same track, and I have a place to put the fish right in here. I have a place to put a rod holder, and I also have a place for my feet to mount when I'm paddling it. And it fits on that same track, and it slides back and forth, and it's not as heavy as carrying that big cooler.